Please welcome from Nashville, Tennessee, Caleb Sweet Hands Plant. What's going on? Appreciate everybody uh, coming out to support us today. Um, don't mean to sound like a broken record, but I want to thank Al Hammond and PBC. Um, all the media coming out. I thought you guys would be hard to, you know, get what we do and get it out to the public to have the fans that we do. Um, I want to thank my team, my head coach Justin Gamber, um, my father uh, Richie Plant. He's the one who started this journey, and uh, you know, I'd like to think of something nice to say about him other than that, but I can't really think of anything. So. <laughs> Um, yeah, Jordan, uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Larry Wade, Don House. Uh, it's been a great camp. We were supposed to fight in August. Um, broke my hand in uh, July. We had to push it back, but this fight has been fought, uh, signed since June. Um, he fought in September. He said uh, the agreement was we'll give him a stay busy fight. And um, after his fight, he said, that I looked bad on purpose tonight because I wanted to try to trick someone into fighting me. But there was no reason for him to say that because he had already had a fight sign since June. On top of that, if you tell the world you're about to, that you're trying to trick them, it's really no longer a trick anymore. So um, I believe that real champions don't make excuses about their performances. Not every night's gonna be the, the best uh, performance of our life. But if we have an off night, we own up to it because that's what champions do. That's how you get there in the first place. But that's not what you did. You didn't have to trick anyone into fighting you because, like I said before, our fight's been signed since June. If he thinks I'm going to be an easy task, if he thinks I'm going to be an easy task, he's got another thing coming. Yeah. For those of you who know me and know my story, I've been through things that break people. I've been through things that people don't come out the other side of. I've told many people this. I've taken many, I've taken many defeats throughout my life, but never once have I been defeated. Everything that's been handed to me, I come out the other side. Sunday, January 13th, I come out the other side with the IBF belt. Again, thank you guys for being here and tune in on Sunday. And the new. Caleb Sweethands Plant, ladies and gentlemen, the number one contender. Let's meet his opponent on Sunday night. It is PBC on FS1 at the Microsoft Theater at LA Live, all brought to you by TGB Promotions and Zanford Promotions. Tickets start as low as $50. If you're in the area, make sure to purchase them at AXS.com. Now let's meet from the champion who captured the title over a stoppage victory against Andre Durrell back last March. He is originally from Venezuela, now fights out of Tijuana, Mexico. He has an exciting style, a crowd-pleasing style, and lo and behold, he's looking to take center stage and make a definitive statement against Caleb Sweethands. Plant, ladies and gentlemen, introducing the reigning and defending IBF super middleweight champion of the world, Jose Bonavita Uscategui. Bueno, primero que todo, gracias a todos por asistir aquí, ¿no? Una gran rueda de prensa, pienso que van a haber unas grandes peleas, ¿no? I want to thank everyone for being here. Uh, you know, I see a lot of press here. I'm really looking forward to uh, the fight. Primero, este, agradecerle a Dios porque, bueno, me está dando esta gran oportunidad nuevamente de, de subir al ring con un buen peleador como Le Plan. Esperemos que... Todo lo que se haya dicho por parte de los dos, este, el domingo salga a reducir arriba del ring, ¿no? Este, no me gusta hablar mucho, no soy de mucho hablar, me gusta demostrar arriba del ring. I wanna, I wanna thank God for uh, this opportunity. Uh, I'm looking forward to uh, showing my talent against a great fighter like Plan. Uh, I think uh, you can say whatever you want outside the ring, but we're still gonna have to get inside the ring, and that's when I do my best talking. Lo que espero es dar una gran pelea ahorita el domingo y que toda la afición mexicana y estadounidense se vaya, se vaya contento. Gracias. I want to give them a great fight Sunday so all the fans, the Mexicans and uh, the United States can have a, a great fight.
Thank you very much, Jose Luis Cruzcat de Guim. Ladies and gentlemen, that'll conclude our press conference. We are going to allow the fighters to come up for photo options for the five gentlemen on the dais of the six with Tom Brown, the president of TGP Promotion. So if you have a question by the media, find Lisa Milner or Brittany Gusenbaum, they will pass along the microphone. Sorry, that was totally my fault. Does anyone have a question? Oh, no, Ricardo, you keep it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'll do it. His most notable recent okay. opponent is uh, one of the Darrell brothers. What's the difference between you and Darrell? As much as uh, I think we'd all agree that me and Darrell have some of the same physical attributes as far as speed, reflexes, athletic abilities, things of that matter, but um, at the end of the day, anyone who knows boxing knows that me and Darrell, we don't have the same style. We don't fight alike. Um, on top of that, uh, I think he was a little bit older in his career when they fought. And um, we're not built the same. So uh, I could keep going down the list, naming off all the things I think I do better than him. But I believe I'll be able to show you guys better than I can tell you on uh, Sunday. So. Jose, uh, prior to your fight in September, people labeled you the boogeyman, like you were the most feared man at 168. What do you think that... He has a question. Yeah, you, well, you asked your question, then he'll translate it. Oh, okay. okay. Teamwork? <laughs> All right. <laughs> How will you be the boogeyman? How will you bring the, your, your boogeyman presence back on uh, Sunday night? Así que mucha gente no quería pelear contigo antes de que fueras ganado el campeonato mundial. Eres el hombre más temido en la división. ¿Crees que eso es todavía cierto? ¿Eres el hombre más temido en la división? ¿Y cómo lo piensas demostrar este domingo? Bueno, este, yo pienso que el domingo se lo voy a dejar claro, ¿no? Solamente a, a mucha gente que todavía duda de eso, ¿no? Este, voy a salir a hacer las cosas bien y a seguir demostrando que por qué soy el hombre más temido en la división, ¿no? I know, I know a lot of people still have doubts about how good I am, if I'm really that good. Uh, and I'm not going to show them on Sunday what, what I'm capable of. And I will show them that I am the boogeyman. Next question. Next. Anybody else have a question? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, okay. Hold on. Come back here. <laughs> My question for Jose, but I need to give you his translator. Excuse me. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mr. Jose, um, what, what propels you to be successful in this fight? Um, Caleb has some personal challenges that kind of give him extra motivation. Do you come in the fight with some extra motivation at all? ¿Por qué esta pelea que te motiva a ti? Él viene con mucha motivación. Ha tenido muchos problemas en su vida. ¿Qué es lo que te motiva a ti para demostrar que eres el mejor boxeador en la centro central de su vida? El pararme todos los días a entrenar, ¿no? Este, el dejar a mi familia día a día sola, a mis hijos, me motiva todos los días para seguir adelante y, y venir a demostrarle a, a toda la gente este domingo que, que soy el mejor y es la mayor motivación que yo tengo. Y la motivación de mi familia, I get up every morning, train, uh, and I'm away from my family when I'm getting ready for a fight. So I look forward to showing you all the work will pay off on Sunday and to prove that I am the best. Hey Joey, uh, you won a PBC Prospect of the Year by the fans vote. I'm just curious if that means anything to you and what your plan is this year having fought five times last year. Well, that means a lot to me because that just shows that the fans are really riding with me. I think I got like 33% of the votes or something like that. And I was just really appreciative because that means, you know, um, my hard work's being recognized. And this year, I'm um, looking to have even more of a breakout year than last year. At the end of this year, I really want to be getting ready to enter that contender uh, space and getting ready to, you know, start to look at some titles and things like that after this next year. So, uh, yeah, that was important to me. And I'm, I'm appreciative. Brendan, 
I'm sure you're prepared to go the distance, but I wonder, are you looking for the knockout versus Moises? I mean, he comes really prepared, you know, we've been told rounds four times, and he hasn't, he's been fighting, you know, top contender fighters like Eddie Wambiao and Randy Roman, but, you know, I've seen the fights and none of them have really hit him to the body, and I don't think they've hit as hard as they hit him to the body, so, you know, that's my way of breaking him down, that's my game plan, break him down, and, you know, try to catch him with a, either a body shot or knock him out in the later rounds, but, that's all. Thanks, everybody. We're going to just have a group shot, and then we'll break out into All right, thank you to the media. Greatly appreciate you guys coming. Jose, right here. All right, everyone, look at these two gentlemen right here. Blue and maroon. Okay. Yeah, I know. It's a little bit hazard. Okay. Everyone, look right here. Right here. Right there. Red, maroon, whatever you want to There you go. There. Careful. All right, everyone got that? Everyone? Right here, right here. Right here. Okay. Now, if everyone.